Okay, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited, 303-666-9020. Uh, Jeepsunlimited.net, you can view this tub and others like it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get started. 87 and 95, bolt on. Um, if you wanna know specifically the year, it is a 1994. But again, it will bolt on 87.95. And a lot of people use these right now for CJ7 tubs because although there are a couple mounts that are different on the bottom, they're fairly easy to adapt a frame, a seven frame, CJ7 frame to them. So, and they're usually a little bit easier to get a hold of. So this thing has its shares of dings, dents, um, scrapes, scratches, whatnot. But uh, it's virtually rust free and I will show you everything uh, on it. It'll take about three, four minutes. So if you have the time, uh, without further ado, I'll get started for us. Uh, cowl area up here is nice and smooth, not, meaning there's no damage here. This is kind of an area people like to make sure, um, especially the top of the windshield frame where it mounts, that oftentimes rots out on them. Firewall is uh, got a, this is pushed in here, so this will need to be pulled out. Um, this probably happened in the yard from storage. Um, this is factory just this part here and you can get access from the other side so a little bit of body work on the firewall uh, all the bolt holes uh fender mounts all that are all good nothing's broke off in them this has got a nice size ding that looks fresh probably somebody in the yard here um let's go down to the lower uh rocker panel this is all nice and solid pretty straight here Another couple of scratches in it um back to your rear, rear wheel well this is your passenger side we're looking at passenger rear corner this is all nice and solid um does look like it's got some filler in it uh does it has some sheet metal back there but uh for whatever reason maybe this corner was hit um but you can definitely see the thickness of that and it's hard to see maybe there but so that place there if you're looking for what work may need to be done on it um it's been done well but uh something you should be uh at least know exactly what it is and then this corner here is pretty dinged up. Um, there's no sheet, there's no filler here. So this is actually, this hasn't been damaged at all here. And you can see kind of there, if I can focus, that's just all, all metal. Um, this here is dinged in pretty good. But again, you can get behind it and be able to pull this guy. Um, and then going down to this rocker side, obviously some Bondo work here. Um, up, you can kind of see the cracks in it. I'm not a huge fan of using Bondo on Wranglers because they're, especially in a YJ because of suspension on them. Um, it has to be done really, really well. Otherwise, you'll shake the sh crap out of Bondo and uh, you kind of see it through there. So a little bit of work on that side, um, but no rust, that's that's solid. So uh, you got a couple bolts you'll have to get out of that. Those two on your front uh, roll bar there, back two are fine. This is on your driver's side. Um, coming up to your rear, this is pretty dinged up through here. Uh, this is pushed up, I should say, and you will be able to access that from the, ba the bottom side. Um, I don't know what the heck they did to this one. That one's broke off. That will need to be extracted. This one's pushed down instead of pushed up. I have no clue. It could have been rolled, maybe, but doubtful only because that one's broke off there. Um, normally when they roll, they crunch these guys. And there's no damage on the top rail of this thing whatsoever. And then they also usually crunch the corners here. Uh, let's see if I can focus this guy again. So, and these are fine, they're perfect. They're straight, solid. Uh, the cowl area, again, on this side is nice and clean. Come down here. Floorboards are solid. Um, the back's not wavy or bang, banged up like that. The front tunnel area, this is that. You can kind of see uh, what we were looking at from the other side here and here, that damage there. And then um, this is all just surface and it's not even scaling. It's just, just oxidation of the metal. So we just washed it a little bit. I'll go so there's still a little bit of water in it. Um, that side's nice and clean. Let me get it up in the air and show you the bottom side. That's sometimes the most important for people. Okay, so what we're wanting to see here is that almost entirely all the frame mounts, there's one up here, it's hard to see, it's kind of under the fork. Uh, this one's kind of sitting on here weird, but We'll try our best to show. Well, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to put this down for one second here. Okay. Sorry to give you a picture of the sky there. 
All right, so that mount there, let's focus there. That one's good, no rot, rust, or anything like that. It'll be able to screw into this guy. This one's off. So this guy, this is a bushing, and then it looks like one of the guys got lazy and cut this. That's actually better because you probably can get some vice grips and should be able to turn that and pull that bolt out without having to do much to it. But you can see in how clean these pockets are, torque pockets or whatever you want to call them. These go to your frame as well as this guy goes above your gas tank, driver's side. This is your corner frame mount, passenger rear corner frame mount, above your gas tank again, and then back down to your channels here. And this one is the same thing, broke off. I uh, got a good chunk of bolt sticking out, so you should be able to hopefully be able to pull these guys. Um, this is just laziness. The guy's not pulling these right because they should have came right out. So, But all through here, this is always an area that loves to rot out on these things. And this is nice and clean, so won't have to do anything. There's a little bit of dirt on this, but it wipes off. So there's absolutely no rust on it whatsoever there and then back up to here so made this a little longer but this one has had a little bit more to show so 303-666-9020 again that's uh 303-666-9020 jeremy jeeps unlimited view this at jeepsunlimited.net uh as well as other tubs we have and we do have a couple frames left some nice frames so all right i think that does it appreciate you taking the time